Good morning, guys. Good morning. Ryan, good night. And... <laughs> good night. <then>. See? <laughs> Jamie said he won't be able to speak Turkish. Well, I knew I he know would. he's out playing in Turkey. I've actually just <laughs> finished a, a show that me and you done in LA. And I'm, look, Ryan, help me out here. I've been taking a, an awful amount of stick on the station for the show that me and you just oh done together. God. I haven't oh. delved too much into it, but uh, we had some good fun, didn't we? We had a laugh. We definitely had a laugh. We definitely had a laugh. It yeah. was, uh, I mean, I don't know for you, but for me, it was, of course, a little bit out of my comfort zone. Uh, but um, I think overall, we made each other, um, you know, um, I think we had a laugh all together, you know, the guys and everything. So, um, yeah. yeah, it was a good time. Yeah, right, right. <laughs> I can't wait till it comes out. Yeah, it's going to be right. good. Ryan, Ryan was very good in it. And, you know, on the obviously on the show, Ryan, we talked about, I've, I've said this before on the station, I had to be an ad salesman. We had to fake our identity. Yeah. And uh, you was uh, a construction worker. And I told the I told the boys what I'd done to you when I, you know, you were telling everyone that you built the Burj Khalifa. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, so then one, so one night, I've, I've obviously done, I've, you know, I'm winding them up, we're having a few tequila and they're having a laugh we're sitting around this big room I've walked in with a big Lego set of a, Bur yeah. of a Burj Khalifa and I've made him sit there and build it in front of everyone <laughs> 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 yeah, that was that was that was really confrontational. I was like, oh, now I have to show that I'm really construction worker. So yeah, no, that uh, that was funny. That was funny. Yeah, right, <laughs> look, let's get to some football. Um, loads to talk to you about. I'll start with Liverpool because obviously yeah. you've been at, you've been at the football club. You've done extremely well there, and uh, just in terms of their season so far, uh, Jordan Henderson. Yeah. Jordan Henderson looks like he's going to Saudi. What yeah. are your thoughts on all of this that's going on? Yeah, it's uh, it's interesting. It reminds me of uh, the time when uh, when China went crazy with all the players, um, you know. And um, you had um, you know names like Oscar going there. I remember that was very controversial. Yeah. Um, now, yeah, you, you we live in a similar time where Saudi now trying to uh, you know disrupt the football world. Um, I mean, at the end of the day, I understand. But um, yeah, do we like it as as football fans? Um, of course, you want the best players to see play in in, in Europe for the best teams uh, all together, and and um, yeah, you know that's that. Mm. Ryan, obviously you played for Liverpool. I played for Liverpool, so we're all interested in what they're going to do next season. How yeah. do you think they're shaping up? You know, he's obviously signed McAllister, which is a a good signing. Yeah, and they've lost um, James Milner. They might lose Anderson. Yeah. So how do you think things are going? Well, I mean, uh, with the signing so far, um, I mean, you know, very promising. Um, at the same time, we know the the intensity, how Jurgen Klopp overall uh, wants to play. Uh, it's always a question to see if the players can adapt to the playing style. Um, I haven't seen... They they, they played a, an, a friendly yesterday. I haven't seen it, but I, I got the notifications on my phone and... They conceded um, a few goals in the last uh, part of the of the game. Yeah, I think they drew four four, didn't they? I think it was four four. Yeah. Exactly, yeah. So um, I think there's still a lot of work to do. But um, again, you know, I'm a Liverpool fan. I have uh, good hopes. Um, I trust uh, Jurgen Klopp. Um, I know, uh, I know that he know that last season was, of course, not good enough. So uh, yeah, this uh, this season they have to definitely step it up. Mm. Um, a, a, another player, obviously talking about managers, Steven Gerrard. He's gone to Al Etifak, a man you know well from your playing days at Liverpool. You was yeah. alongside him, um, fantastic player, a brilliant man as well. Are you surprised he went to manage out there? Uh, initially, of course, it's surprising. Um, I mean, overall, if you look at, at at especially English managers, they they tend to stay in England. Uh, but at the same time, I feel like, you know, we are entering in a, in a new wave of uh, new managers, right? Um, uh, young managers, uh, former players. Uh, I mean, look, at the end of the day, we don't know um, if, if Stephen Gerrard had, let's say, a lot of possibilities at this very moment. And I feel like, um, you know, as a manager, if you are um, out of the picture for too long maybe you know the door slowly is getting shut on you for 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 these type of opportunities so maybe you know it was one of those things that he felt like hey i want to stay busy i'm still young and this was right now the opportunity that i got so you know let's grab it mm. right now moving on to wilfred saha's move to galatasaray i mean you played for galatasaray and I, I, you're still playing out there aren't you yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I'm still in Turkey. Uh, I, I uh, finished uh, three years with Galatasaray. 
um yeah big team the biggest team in, in turkey um so yeah you know uh, saha definitely is joining uh you know an, uh, a big team right what i i was saying i've been saying this to dino and this is why i wanted to speak to you about the move because over here we're ca- kind of maybe surprised about it you know he's at crystal palace he's been offered a lot of yeah. money to stay in the premier league he could have had yeah. other options i think to play in yeah. the premier league but yeah. to- you know, but a lot of people, you know, Dean's played for Galatasaray. You've played for Galatasaray. Maybe yeah. saying we're disrespecting it a little bit of how big this club is. Yeah, I feel like, uh, you know, especially, look, at the end of the day, I've been eight years in Turkey. And, um, you know, playing in Turkey is not easy. Uh, it's definitely not easy. Um, I think it should definitely get a little bit more recognition. But um, at the end of the day, of course, it's not Premier League. However, if you join Galatasaray, you do have the opportunity to play Champions League, which they 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 do this uh, this year. Um, at least they 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 are qualif- uh, play qualifier. So you know um, Saha in Crystal Palace, you know you're not going to play European football. Um, and 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 you know with with Galatasaray, you have the opportunity to do you know. And mm-hmm. if you don't maybe not make it Champions League, you still have the chance to play uh, Europa League. So um, Galatasaray is a competitive team. They they always are required to become champion. So I feel like it's a different type of, um, you know, uh, style of, of approaching football than just, you know, uh, playing at Crystal Palace respectfully just mm. to be satisfied with maybe place eight or something, you know. Mm. So he has been at Crystal Palace for a long, long time. And, you know, I, I, I think I, I understand his, his, um, his decision, you know, something else uh, mm. for, for that. Look, Rise, you're playing out there. Obviously, you're still a big player out in that... Uh you know, in Turkey, and I've seen you playing for the team that you're at and, you know, you're still one of the top boys. Do you think Wilfred Zaha going to Galatasaray, do you think he'll be a standout? Do you think he'll be, you know, one of the biggest stars on stage performing week in, week out? Yes, absolutely, absolutely. I mean, um, look, at the end of the day, uh, Turkey is not so intense as Premier League and and what we know from Zaha, what he has done over the years, um, if he is able to to at least show uh, most of that then he definitely is able to stand out and um you know the thing in turkey you know especially if you do well you know they 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 will you know will treat you like a king so um you they will give him his confidence already i saw his uh, introduction and and the way he entered um you know turkey with uh, all the fans waiting for him at the airport like they already made him feel you know very special and um, you can you can also check on the social medias of galatasaray like you know he's a big signing for the for the club mm. Ryan, I'm glad we've got a current player on. I, I wanted to ask a current player this because I've got a bee in my bonnet about pre-season fixtures and then you oh. get the managers coming on at Christmas saying that the welfare of the players is not being considered because of the fixture list pile-up. And then I look at the pre-season games and I've got in front of me, they're all the same, by the way. I just happen to have Man United. They're playing Leeds in Oslo. Oslo. Then they go Houston, Edinburgh, Las Vegas, New York, uh where else? Dublin, Old Trafford, and these these games. Ha, as a player, does that does that damage you when you're not sleeping properly? And you know when you're going away for for three yeah. weeks or whatever and traveling, making all these flights. Yeah, yeah. No, honestly, I do feel like um, you know with all the because at the same time you also train very hard. You know, you 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 train twice a day, sometimes three times a day, and 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 especially preseason is. Uh, you know, the goal of preseason is in terms of to get your fitness back as soon as possible. Uh, but yeah, definitely uh, remembering from the time that uh, we had to do all these flights, um, it was very exhausting. Absolutely. Talk Sport Breakfast, waking you up Monday to Friday morning from 6 a.m. on AM, on DAB, via the Talk Sport app, and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.